I can say anything about marriage, it has been the biggest mirror to myself. Wow. One transition at a time. One, maybe two. I got about four, five just riding the wave together at the same time. Like everything was just rapid fire. Even if you are putting off having to deal with the emotions and the transition and the shifting or whatever in the moment, it's coming for you. If there's anything I know, the adulthood is the ghetto hood and life be life Hello friends. Wow, how are ya? <laughs> the camera was literally just sitting next to me just now while I was at my computer finishing work. And I was like, you know what? Talk to the people, Gaby. So I'm here. How are you? Um, what do I want to say? First of all, if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. My name is Gaby, Gabrielle, Dr. J, Dr. Johnson, all that jazz. It's me. Hi. It's more so a video for my regulars who are just looking forward to the content and seeing my face. How are y'all doing? It's December of 2023. That is actually wild. That's just, that's it. That's actually wild. I cannot believe it is the end of 2023. I don't even know how we got here to the end of 2023. That's just really wild to me. But anywho, um, yeah, I figured I would just talk to you guys because I think I'm like severely overthinking the whole comeback situation, which is why I be defaulting to just not posting nothing. <laughs> I overthink it drastically. Um, and yeah, I am trying to figure out how to like piece together wedding content for you guys from earlier in the year, but literally at this point, those videos are about to be a year old. And so that's just really weird for me of like trying to figure out how to piece it together and tell a story. I have notes and I think I know how I'm going to do it, but in the meantime, I'm still going to just talk to you guys. Because I, I, there's things I want to update you on in real life currently. And I feel like I have to wait until I get all the old stuff out. And that's just false, okay? It, at this point, I've declared that I would be talking to y'all. Because one of the main reasons I think I paid with the camera is I realized I need community. Mm -hmm. Like, I am blessed with a bomb church community. And I do have support, you know, and I have married friends um so I, i'm not saying i'm looking for like 100 percent all of the support that i need from youtube and the internet world but i do think that there's something there that you all contribute and always have to my life and my journey that i'm missing out on because i'm not talking to y'all you see what i'm saying I just, I, my posting is so few and far between that I really do miss y'all. I think that was today's vibe. It's like, I actually miss this community. So that's why I picked up the camera, okay? Um, also, just wanna be real. Like, I feel like YouTube, for some reason, is a place that I can be my most authentic self. I think I said that in a previous video. Like, y'all just give me space to be me. Even when it don't make sense and it's not necessarily cute and I be watching it back like, dang, should I have posted that? And y'all just be in the comments speaking life and encouraging. And I love that. So hi, here I am. <laughs> back for more, okay? Um, I don't even know what I want to say. I kind of have a feeling of what I want to say, but I don't really know. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Um, first and foremost, First married Christmas coming up. Um, I bought gifts. We bought each other gifts and other people gifts, which is actually hilarious. That's an improvement because in previous years, I for sure wait till the week up to buy anybody anything. And then I end up just having like a freak out section, session and I feel like I don't know what to get anyone and it's just, it gets awkward. So then I just don't do anything. Um, I'm just not the best with the whole gift giving and yeah, I'm not. So, um, but I did better this year. I feel like I was actually pretty organized. I still didn't shop really on Black Friday, which is shocking. I did a little bit of Cyber 
week. Thankfully, some businesses were gracious and left Cyber Monday deals up for an entire week for people like me who just didn't get around to it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But I think it's going to be a good Christmas. Beyond the gifts, I really just, yeah, I'm just looking. Christmas is my favorite. Really, October, if you've been around, you know. September through December for me is just peak living. <laughs> I am the happiest I am at any point in the year during those four months. Specifically October to December, you could just buy me for a penny. I'm just very happy. Um, and the harder that adulthood and life gets, I find myself craving even more the holiday season and just the joy that defaults from that time period because life be life in. life be life in. if there's anything i know the adulthood is the ghetto hood and life be life in. and thus I need a little holly jolly, a little, you know, I got my little guy over here in the corner. I don't even remember his name. It's something really long and ridiculous because I asked Instagram to help me name him. It's something with buttons. Oof, I'm going to find his name. But he got a long name and it's real cute. I got my little Christmas tree, my little candle. I got my little, um, my little dwarf friends back here, and my little trees, and my little candle. I have the house, you know, super decorated. And um, yeah, I just be needing, I be needing the joy. You feel me? Um, yeah, so. <sighs> I have a lot of words because I've been in counseling again. I don't know if I told you all that, but I am back in counseling. I have been actually for most of the year. Um, but recently I feel like I've had some breakthroughs in counseling that have just really opened my eyes to, if you hear banging, unfortunately I live next door to a car auto repair shop situation. I'm just, I'm, that's all I'm gonna say about that. And it gets real ratchet. So sorry if you hear banging in the background. Um, but I've just, I've been learning some things about myself so much in marriage like if I can say anything about marriage it has been the biggest mirror to myself wow in a very um shocking way I just uh, I don't think I was prepared at all for how much marriage was gonna show me about me you feel me it was mind-boggling it's been <laughs> mind-boggling um and it's just caused me to question so much just about myself, about life, about all the things. And um, yeah, so the transition has been complex, I think, for a few reasons. So one of the reasons that I'm recognizing through counseling therapy um, is I was moving quickly. The last year of my life, let's say was just on fast forward uh that's the best way i could put it now i'm not you know we're not gonna get into you know shoulda woulda coulda okay that's not what this is about i'm just here to be honest with you that i'm recognizing that i don't know if it was in response to like I don't know, I really, I don't know what the initial cause was. All this to say, I was back to back to back uh, dealing with some very big life changes, okay? Um, and y'all are aware of them. I've talked about them now several times, but for context for this video, um, I went from a broken engagement to living with a friend to buying a house to getting re-engaged, to getting married. Um, I'm skipping something in there. Oh, to before getting married, the week before I got married, actually, no, maybe two weeks before I got married or so. Huge promotion, actually back all the way up. After I bought the house, I found out that my supervisor was leaving and they were putting me in her position. So I had a complete 
when I say complete, <laughs> I had a complete role shift, okay, that came before the actual promotion, okay, we're gonna keep it 100. I was doing a job that I was not being paid for, um, for several months. Then I was promoted into that job officially, and then marriage, and then honeymoon, and the whole, you know, fully moving in together and starting this life together in this new role at work like everything was just rapid fire everything i just described to you happened within 11 months mm -hmm. and the majority of it happened within five months of each other yeah so uh <laughs> All that to say, you know, people pointed it out and people were like, you know, wow, when I was going through it all and like, oh my goodness. And you know, a couple of like, are you sure? And all of that, but for the things I could control, but um, yeah, I just, I was just doing. And uh, woo, now um, as a person who can easily, I don't know how, how if easily is the word, but who can power through things and just get things done and do what needs to be done. Um, you know, regardless of how I feel internally or whatever else, I can power through and get something done. And the fact that I can do that, I'm gonna speak to people who also can do that and just let you know that even if you are putting off having to deal with the emotions and the transition and the shifting or whatever in the moment, it's coming for you. It's coming for you. And maybe it came for me. It has been coming for my neck. You understand? So I feel like I am catching up to my life. Are y'all following me? I am mentally, physically, spiritually, everythingly. <laughs> catching up to my current the life that I'm currently living out and showing up to every day I'm catching up to that do y'all see where I am somebody's putting it together now now you're getting it you're getting it <laughs> so welcome um so yeah the reality is that is very hard it is extremely difficult. And I don't mean that to say that every day is just awful and I'm depressed and I hate my life or whatever the heck else. Because as you can hear in there, those are all great things. I mean, mostly. It didn't start off great. But the, 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 the thing like promotion, that's a good thing. Buying a house, typically a good thing. <laughs> I'm going to say the Lord did bless me. So we'll, we'll call it a good thing for now. Sorry, this piece is getting on there. So I'm putting it inside. Um, good thing. Buying a house. Getting married. Good thing. Being engaged. Good thing. Um, honeymoons are good things. You see? They're all good things. But even a bunch of good things at the same time in a, or in a very small period of time baby it can still rip your wig back and that is what's been happening like all of the a lot of these are major roles and major shifts like home ownership is not for the weak and I um man I don't want to be redundant but I take so long in between posts that I'd be saying the same stuff over and over again so I'm sorry if it's redundant but I am like dealing with feeling homeowner regret, um, feeling like in some ways I really rushed that process and that even though God showed up and showed out because he just is God and that's who he is with me being able to even purchase this home, I just look back and think about like, wow, what was going through my mind, my heart, all of that when I made the choice to get this property? Like, did I sit long enough with the process did i think about everything that goes into home ownership 
did I think this through or was I rushing toward a milestone that I felt I needed to reach for some sort of validation? Wow. Is this a counseling session? Yeah. Um, so wrestling with that because there's a lot about full transparency. There's a lot about my neighborhood that I am completely, I hate. Hate is a strong word and I'm using hate. There's a lot about my neighborhood that I hate that makes me regret this purchase. There's a lot about my neighbors that I'm not gonna say hate because the Bible tells us to love our neighbors. But what I know of them and how they conduct themselves around our property is enough for me to say. <laughs> I'm struggling, Lord, to love my neighbors. Um, yeah, even just the financial side of things, I don't think I was, as aware as I even thought I was at the time. And so there's some regret there a little bit. Or there's some just, yeah, homeowner is a big role, okay? Let's leave it like that. Homeowner is a big role. Um, this new role I have at work is a big role. I am grateful for it and I am managing it. And there's a lot that the Lord is doing through me being in this role, but that is an adjustment. It's an adjustment to even my career path and what my future looks like. And I'm not afraid of the future. The Lord has always led me to where I was supposed to be. But I'm just being honest and saying adjusting to that has been an adjustment. And baby, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Y'all remember the series of uh, stay single and left behind when I finally got in a relationship and I told y'all I was struggling with even just adapting to the role of a girlfriend. What does a girlfriend do? I don't get this because I didn't know what that life was like because I had never experienced it. And so adapting to that role was a journey. Times that by about 150. And that's me trying to adjust to being a wife. Do you feel what I'm saying? I had watched all the podcasts and the YouTube videos. We went to premarital coaching. You know, I'm like thinking I'm going to be a student of marriage. And baby, let me tell you. Oh my gosh. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, marriage is a whole different ball game and and understanding wife dumb wifehood is a journey it's not all bad but it's a journey so all of that transition and, adjust, and adjustment that i just described in all of those roles has been my life for less than a year and like most people deal with a transition like that by itself in a silo as much as possible. Obviously life still be life regardless. But like one transition at a time. One, maybe two. I got about four or five just riding the wave together at the same time. And I'm just over here trying to catch up. Like literally as we speak right now, I'm not eating today. Why? I cannot tell you why. I don't know. I feel like my body it's just confused. <laughs> it don't know what to do. So I just. <sighs> I think I'm. I think I think I'm uh, word vomiting at y'all. I don't even know what this video is about anymore. I just caught myself. Am I doing too much? Am I doing too much for the people? <sighs> Possibly. But this is the real, okay? So these are the videos you're gonna get until I figure out how to, you know edit the other ones this is me welcome to my life right now okay so yeah i guess that was the point was to update y'all i really have a uh something in my mind about wanting to do a 12 days of christmas um vlogmas was just never for me i've tried multiple times and i failed every time and i don't like failing so i've already counted myself out of that <laughs> but 12 days of christmas sounds fun and a little bit more manageable but i'm wondering if 
should I be doing that on YouTube? Should I do it on TikTok? Because, you know, those are a little quicker and easier to edit. I don't know. Do y'all want to see 12 Days of Christmas or what? Because honestly, if I did 12 Days of Christmas, it's probably going to be 12 videos of me talking at y'all like this. Because <laughs> I don't know what else I have to record right now. What could I do? I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I got my to-do list. This is what my week is going to look like before I take off because I took two weeks off at the end of December. I'm out of here. I had too much PTO stacked up for my own comfort and I said, I'm out of here. So December 15th, Friday is my last day of work until 2024. January 2nd, 2024 is when I will enter the building, enter the chat again. But as of tomorrow, I, tomorrow, look at me trying to cut the week short. Today is Tuesday. No, what? Today is Monday. <laughs> so Friday, as of Friday, well, after the day of Friday, I'm out of here. Um, and I'm glad that worked out. So I'm looking forward to that, but I have to complete these things in order for that to be an enjoyable two weeks off. So... But yeah, guys, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know if I had a purpose for this video other than to tell y'all that I'm out here and I'm trying. But marriage be hard. So if any of y'all are married right now or dealing with any of the transitions that I talked about from promotion to, I don't know what else I said, home ownership. Hello, where are the homeowners? Get in the comments and, and help me understand did I make the biggest mistake of my life? <laughs> because of what is going on? Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe I'm just looking for for a friend, for a little community. So I'm updating y'all so that y'all can t tell me whatever you want to tell me in the comment section. Let's talk. How are the holidays going for you? What are you looking forward to from my channel at any point? I mean, y'all have already pretty much said you're looking forward to me sharing wedding content. So I'm going to do that for you. So if that's what you want to see, trust me, I, I'm working on it. But if there's other things that you're just interested in, maybe about all the different things that I've just shared, do we need to do a Q&A? What do we need to do? Let's catch up, girls, okay? And... Possibly, guys. I don't know. Last time I checked the stats, which has been so long. Um, but last time I checked the stats, uh, I think my following was 100% women on YouTube. So, ladies, um, let me know. What do you want to know about my life right now? I've had a few DMs from y'all. We have some new people, which I feel horrible about because y'all are just watching reruns. <laughs> watching reruns because where is the new content sis but yes okay i'm gonna stop blabbing this thing says i'm at 23 minutes of recording wow so yeah hope i didn't bore you if you're still here i hope you choose to stick around and i love y'all and i'll probably pick up the camera again at some point and just talk to y'all okay love you bye